104 takes us to Lexington, Kentucky. They are ready for action here at Big Blue Nation. Catch up in the SEC, the number 10 Tennessee Volunteers taking on the Kentucky Wildcats, the SEC standings. Tennessee coming off that win over number one Alabama now, 9 and 4. Kentucky beat Mississippi State to improve to 8 and 5. Welcome courtside here at Rough High and Eagle, Bill Raftery. Looking forward to this one, Bill, to revenge on the mind for Tennessee. You're not a vengeful person. Not at all. With you on occasion. On occasion, the Volunteers lost the last time these two teams met. Chance to get a win and maybe cement where they fit in for the NCAA tournament. Well, they're on the third line. They're looking to yeah. move up. Of course, Kentucky, they need this one. This is big. They need a little cushion for John. All right, let's check out our fast analysis. It's presented by AT&T 5G. Uh, the old dribble drive, get a piece of the lane. Ziggler's so good at it, and the ability of Santiago Escovi to relocate, knock down some shots. The other side, wow, that's just unbelievable. His ability to steal the ball, jump passing lanes, turn into easy goals, which they're going to need. But how about the big fella? Get the puppies up and down. Finish a big time. She played to the 10. Kentucky trying to get into the NCAA tournament. They had that 71-68 win at Mississippi State on Wednesday night. Kentucky had lost back-to-back -back games prior to that to Arkansas and Georgia. Starting lineups, injuries on both sides. We'll fill you in on that, but it does make an adjustment for Tennessee with Meshack and Adu in there once again. Kentucky, Jason Wallace, the freshman, leads the way. Antonio Reeves has been tremendous. The senior transfer from Illinois State has provided a jolt on the perimeter. Rick Barnes, this squad is so good defensively. And that win over Alabama on Wednesday night, 68 to 59. They didn't shoot it well, but the Crimson Tide just never got into a rhythm offensively. A uh, big thing about them is their physicality defensively, their containment, their gap defense. They're really solid. Conversely, Kentucky, uh, they must check out, obviously, and push the ball and get some easy opportunities. Don Daly, Joe Lindsay, KB Burdett.